but uh, probably not because we only we have 24 viewers waiting. This is no good. Okay, yeah, it's working. It's working. It is working now, isn't it? So you didn't see anything that I said before because the chat it's uh okay we're gonna do it all over again coming to you from a very remote rural belly camp in the eastern panhandle of florida hello everybody happy friday <laughs> i'm riding 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 with my rv my rv wherever i want to be because i'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, hello everybody, happy Friday, and uh, yeah, you know what happened? I, I, I had decent internet with the, with the AT&T and the, and, the, and the booster antenna, you can see it back there even, and then when I started the chat, nothing happened, but now I think you are able to see me, and I'm sure we're going to buffer on and off, but I don't think anything else is running on, on the Pelicamp uh, um, uh, Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, I had to switch to Pelican Wi-Fi because AT&T was no good. Um, as I was saying, well, we're going to do the introduction again. Here we have a nice campfire. It's kind of dying down, but it's there. It's going. We have Carl and his Travado. Okay. We have we have Casita RV Life in the house as well. And we have some other guests uh, coming, Yahaira and uh, Odi. You've seen them here in the chat as well. So, um, accidentally missed the New Year's chat. So hello, Dylan Reynolds and uh, Henry Gradwell, Patrick Carter, Reming Passion from all the way from the Philippines, and uh, oops, cold in Florida. Well, it's cold by Florida standards. We, this morning was uh, what, 45, 46, 45, yeah. 46 around here, which for us that might as well be snowing, and you know. <laughs> Uh, but right now it's probably 60, 60 ish. And I left my phone in there because I thought I was going to be able to use it for, um, for, yeah, that yellow t shirt you saw back there. That's Casita RV Life. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to for you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. So, um, by the way, here, right next to Minitini 3, we have a Truma cooler. And uh, that's where I have my IPA. Actually, today we're mixing it up. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to tell my mom we had a live stream, and well, she hopefully she'll remember. Uh, this is a, an APA. Actually, it's an American Pale Ale Stump Knocker from Swamphead Brewing in Gainesville, Florida, which is probably right next to with Tallahassee. Probably the, the two largest cities that are close to us, and then neither of them is really close. It's, it's, it's about an hour and a half from here to Tallahassee and probably another hour and a half to, to Gainesville. So cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Thank you, Jeff Ellis, for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Brenson Spitschup, good afternoon, brother, Robert, and all. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out. Let me see if I can make... No, I cannot. I'm just trying to, you know, my, my aging eyes cannot see the chat. But now I can. Okay. Now it's too big. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Let me, I'm just going to go random here. Pelicam needs a hot tub. I totally agree. I, I'm thinking of getting one of those inflatable ones like Nomadic Fanatic. <laughs> or maybe not. Um, or maybe we'll get something permanent, you know. I cannot put anything heavy on top of the leech field, but... Elsewhere, you know, it should, it should work. Uh, hello from prison. Hmm. I'm in Jakarta, Indonesia, where it is morning. Jakarta, Indonesia. Wow. Odalis Hernandez, where are you? Where this is? Uh, Pelicamp, you know, our, our, our northern Florida retreat here in the, in the eastern panhandle. Um, very quiet, very nice. I, I love this place, and uh, with the help of so many friends, we, we put it together, and and it's still not finished, but it's 90% there, not 90% there. I have uh, I have two RV sites back there. You see uh, there you see Minitini One, 
back there. That's the original, the one and only. It's supposed to snow three to six inches in Tennessee. I don't know, is that a lot? Um, what camping pass do you use the most? You know, I don't use many camping passes. I have KOA and I have Go, Go, Good Sam, but, um, and I do have SKPs and I've used it like twice. Um, but I usually do, do, do the spur of the moment thing at the, at the last minute. And what happens, I, um, I end up where, wherever I end up. It's, um, I, I don't, sometimes I don't plan ahead as much. I know Thousand Trails, a lot of people swear by it. I know, um, not FMCA, what's the other one? Uh, Passport America, yeah. a lot of people like it. Uh, one of these days I might try it when, when, when we do a little more of a full-time lifestyle. But yeah, the Curtis family, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you. And uh, hands-on adventures. Western North Carolina is going to get some weather. Be careful. You're coming through. Yeah, I think by Saturday. Saturday is going to be nasty out here. So what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. No, Sunday. Sunday. Or Sunday. Uh, tomorrow I'll just pick everything up. And, you know, it probably it's actually Sunday we're going down to Tampa. I don't know yet, uh, but I'm, I want to get down there early for the RV show. As you know, we're going to be there at the, the Florida RV Super Show, which is kind of like a yearly tradition. Robert, you're an inspiration to all of us. We're planning routes for a two-month long trip to the Redwoods and back. Hola from Indiana. Hola. And Miguel Garade. Hello from Lakeland, Florida. Lakeland. Down by Tampa. We're going to be close to Lakeland when we are in Tampa. Dylan Reynolds, uh, uh, are you planning to check out the most Museum in Daytona Beach, Florida? Most Museum? I've, I've never heard of that, but uh, uh, whenever we go to, to, to Daytona, I, I don't think we're going to Daytona uh, anytime soon, but uh, we'll see. Music. Robert, have you used Harvest Host? Uh, yes, I have. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, I use it a lot. In, the, in this last trip in upstate New York, uh, we stayed at, uh, at a few Harvest Hosts, and uh, some of them were very nice. And, and I know, I know, uh, Casita RV Live here uh, was telling me about uh, some some uh, cattle ranches that, that Texas. in Texas that that are really good. So you know, I like my steak and. Uh, Especially on this Lewis and Clark trip uh, uh, next spring, next spring I'm gonna try to, to hit as many of those. It's kind of hard in the dead, in the dead of summer because you know if it's too hot, you know you're basically boom talking. So in the dead of summer, it's kind of hard to stay at Harvest Hosts, but any other time of the year, it's uh, it's nice. It is my wife Katrina birthday. Can you please sing to her Happy Birthday? Happy Birthday, Katrina! Happy Birthday to you! And Nash, howdy. Good evening from the UK. Hello there. And where RV staying is here. And Jay White from Orange, Florida. And the RV DJ is here. Hello there. Recovering from carpal tunnel surgery today. Oh, how, how are you even using the mouse? Are you all like left hand typing? <laughs> well, in any case, cheers. Oh, they were taking a picture of me and I... I just come out like I come out like the like this. <laughs> so yeah, the sun's coming down here at Pelly Camp. Let me let me let me show you exactly because when you when you have the camera just looking down here, you can't really see. But look at that pine tree up there. This is a be be really beautiful part of Florida here. Which when I when I didn't know this part of Florida, I I, I always said it looked more like Georgia in many ways. Yeah. Because of the Spanish moss on the on the oaks and all that, so it's very different. It's it's you know once you pass Orlando, North Florida starts looking more and more like this, and I like it. Hello from Texas, going to look at Winnie Mi Micro eighteen hundred BH. No slide tomorrow. That's the one. That's the bunkhead. The, the bunk the bunk bed. That's what Gregory just bought. Yeah. Yeah. Your son is about that one. Yeah, that's uh, I like that. I like that model. If I had, look, you know, small children, that's probably what I would get. You know, so 
have more sleeping space in the back. Actually, it might be, be, be it, it might even be useful as um as storage if if you I don't know. Do you find it getting hard to boondock due to restrictions in BLM and national forest land? I haven't been out there in, uh, out west uh, since uh, in, a, in a while, since basically since uh, summer 2020. So I don't know. There's there's not a whole lot of BLM and national forest around here. There's some national forest in Florida and some water management areas, which I eventually I want to I want to see some of those. But um, they're asking about many teeny behind you. One. Minitini one, what? Michael Bay, what is the roof behind you? Uh, the roof behind me? Actually, that roof is my neighbor. Oh. I, I made a miscalculation when I designed the property, and I thought an acre was big. And these properties are very deep, but they're not very wide, so my neighbor is right there. Eventually, I want to grow some vegetation, just so uh, so it's not as, as visible as, as it is. And it wasn't as visible uh, when, when we bought the property, but then we started chopping trees, and all of a sudden, you're like, in the middle of, <laughs> in between the, those two, you know, it's, it's just, uh, oh good. what's that roof behind? But the, 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 what, what's behind, I, I can't, what, that's, that's the, my, behind there, that's Minitini one, the original, um, I'm th which I'm thinking of restoring uh, a little bit. Henry Kosofsky, I just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. Cool, how Florida has several different climate zones. I think it's just two, basically. Yeah. It's up here, which it's kind of subtropical, and then once you get past, you know, you get to South Florida, past Lake Okeechobee, I would say, it's tropical. It's 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 uh, yeah, we don't get no winter down there. But um, such a beautiful sight, Robert. What's the temperature there right now? You have a fire ready for the evening? Yeah, we have a fire here right next to me. It's probably sixty, probably probably less than sixty right now. I'll tell you just a second, fifty-seven. 57, there you go. And uh, what is it that you do for work and travel at the same time? Well, I'm, I'm, I do YouTube now. I used to have like a, like a day job, you know, but uh, eventually YouTube, you know, started make it, making it worth it, you know, but started paying enough that it, that, that it was sustainable. <laughs> it, it's actually more work. I, yeah, I, I work longer hours for sure, but I have more fun, so... I, I, I rather, you know, work the longer hours having fun than, than not. Uh, oh, Tyrone Wicks, happy Friday. And Neem Terrar, thank you for all the great work you create for us. T seriously, thank you. Watched um, almost every episode twice for the past two to three years. Stay safe. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm glad you like him so much. And uh, two or three times, huh? Not even me, but I, I edit them. I watch them a hundred times while I'm editing. Oh, that that's some nice... We're going to get a nice fire going there. Didn't want you to get cold. <laughs> Beautiful mm. day. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. If I can walk. <coughs> Come on down to the hideaway for an after party, says Apple and Rob from the captain's hideaway. Actually, if the internet really sucked tonight here, that's what I was going to do. I was going to just jump over to their place. And Armando Correa, thank you for that super chat. Happy Friday, Robert and Nelly. I should be arriving to Florida tomorrow afternoon. See you guys soon. All right. I'll see you at the Tampa show. Or are, you, are you coming down here? Tampa show? Let me know. We'll figure it out. Uh, can't wait to make it to Florida one day. Just to, need to pick an RV. We're we'll picking RV. The Tampa uh, Super Show coming up next week is is the place to do it. That's the one place you're almost guaranteed to see every model, every floor plan, every almost every brand. You know, there's there's a Canadian camper van brand called a uh, Panoramic that I would love to see down yeah. there at some point. But Panoramic there or Casita, for example, Casita, they 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 don't go to RV shows. They sell factory direct, and they're doing great. So, you know. <laughs> they have they have like a cult following too. So, uh, Ron Jerry, thank you for the super chat. Robert, please say hi to my wife Anne. Thank you, thanks, Ron Jerry. All right, please say um, so. Uh, hi Anne, I'm a little discombobulated today. <laughs> too many distractions. Um, why is it called Pelicamp? Well, it's kind of a play on words. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, our group is called the Pelican Heads, 
and I like pelicans, and I'm always saying, fly, pelican, fly. So um, that's where it came from. I, I thought it would be a, a good name for, for this. And eventually it's going to be, um, this is going to probably be Pelican South or Pelican East. And I would love to have a Pelican West in Arizona or a, or a Pelican New England somewhere up there or, or I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued by Idaho, but it gets really cold there in the, in the winter. So I don't know. Summer Pelican. Summer Pelican Camp, in yeah. Idaho. Well, even the president of the United States has a summer home, and you know, always, right? So, why not? <laughs> uh, Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. How's the weather in Rochester? <laughs> oh, yeah, how's the weather in Rochester, Anthony? Our friend Carl from Rochester. Well, you're going back to Rochester soon. Yeah, in the, in about your, a week, yeah. In his winterized Travado. At least he can flush the toilet. But. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> hey, Steve Loy, uh, another person who has uh, uh, experienced a Pelly Camp in person. Hi, Robert and Lily. I hope you two are well. I hope to see you soon. Happy Friday. I hope to see you soon, too. And uh, we, we've, we've met here and in Vermont, of all places. And I'm sure we'll meet again. Smoke Oak Barbecue. Bring, bring us some barbecue. A American Cuban supporting you from South Florida. I was just around the Mulberry area for a golf trip. Uh, love that area. Enjoy, Robertico. Thank you so much. I love this area too. I love the weather. I love the people. I love the nature. And uh, I'm gonna meet my son. I'll be back. All right, all right. Cas Casita yeah, has to go. For a while. Yeah, I think so. And it's right there on this corner. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll go by there. I don't know exactly what the plan is but uh, uh, we have an after party we were invited to an after party so down there down there so <laughs> it's nice seeing you. all right good seeing you Greg. um visited perry florida a week ago a gorgeous area yeah we're the forest capital of florida so, so it's, it's it's a it's basically the whole area is a huge forest until all of us came here and started developing and chopping down some trees which we're putting to good use in the, the, the fire here. And I know some people are, uh, have even built, you know, structures with, with some of the wood that they have collected. So, TGIF, hello, all Pelican heads from Miami. Robert, come on, hope you're enjoying your Friday from Rick Paula. Yes, uh, uh, we're having a good time. We, we, it's been kind of like a work week. We've been collecting wood and trying to make this place look, uh, look decent. And, and now we're just here, you know, we're going to hang out tonight. Be still and know, Robert, uh, no, Robert, no. love the channel, Robert, looking for similar property in that area. Please share a link to your real estate contact. His name is Shannon Warwick, and um, I'll share it. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look it up and, uh, and, uh, and share it here. But there, there, there are several realtors in the area, too. Just uh, Shannon was the one that sold me the, the property. And, yeah. You got it from Shannon, too? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool guy. Good guy. Best, uh, okay, uh, Pelicamp, Michigan would be great in the UP, right? We got to do it in the UP. So it'll be P Pelican Yupper. Hey, Mr. Moarigato, Mr. Roboto. Just uh, booked my campsite for Key West late March. Uh, we'll be yelling, fly, Pelican, fly. Oh, you'll see plenty of Pelicans down there. Are you planning to come to, come into Alaska anytime soon? Probably 23 at, this, at the rate we're going. It's going to be 2023. I want things to normalize a little more before we actually go up there. Sloan's Wilderness Expeditions, my favorite area of Florida, is the Forgotten Coast. Camped in the Apalachicola National Forest a few times. That's a beautiful area. The beach, most of the beaches are not great. That's the only thing in the, because you, you have no barrier islands except St. John, St. John, is it? The one right next to Apalachicola. It's, it's a saint. It's a saint. Uh, hey, where are we staying? Thank you for that super chat. Recovering from the big sea. Oh, I, I hope you're getting better. Going back to rest. Have a safe weekend, my friend. Uh, yes, Kevin. Uh, yeah, get, get well soon. Uh, Scott Summers, wife and I are considering a small RV for weekend trips. And tailgate, can you 
talk about a little bit hidden cost of RV, hidden costs of RV uh, uh, ownership. Well, hidden costs, something's going to break sooner or later. It's not a matter of if, but when. And uh, yeah, it's uh, everything goes, especially nowadays, you know, things are, are pricey. But it is what it is, right? Uh, but those are the main hidden costs to think. Yeah, the, you know, the things that the people don't tell you about, that things are are going to break. You know, it's a, it's a it's a earthquake going down the down the road. <clears throat> Captain Ziggy, thank you for that super chat. Sometimes when I'm driving, your song plays in my head. I'm riding in my RV. Nania Litz, hi from Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is your absolutely favorite beach RV park. A uh, oh beach RV park. I have several actually. If you, if you, I mean, there's there's Destin, the, um, that uh, Camp Golf. It's crowded, it's big, but you're right there on the sand, and that's probably the best beach in Florida. There's also uh, Red Coconut. There's Gamble Rogers State Park on the East Coast. That if you can get one of those uh, waterfront sites, that would be really uh, nice too. There are several ones. Uh, there's one that I've never been to, but I hear is really good as Beverly Beach. It is just uh, just north of Flagler Beach, and uh, I hear it's really nice too. So those are some of the ones. Jim Foster, if you did a Pelican, New Jersey. The Pelican would have an attitude. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but hey, can we do a Pelican like on the on the Jersey Shore there? That would be cool. Uh, hey, from Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is your which? Is, uh, oh, that's the one I just read. Never mind. Have you gone to Payne's Prairie? I have not. I have not gone to Payne's Prairie, but I whenever, especially back in the day, we used to take I seventy five a lot. You know, just to get out of Florida in one shot, and. Uh, and uh, yeah, I used to go to pay. I mean, I mean, I've seen it so many times, and uh, I just yeah. That, that actually, if we get to explore North Florida a little bit this winter, that's one of the places that I'm going to uh, uh, see. And everybody say hello to my mom. Hello, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful time. I think it's cool in Pelican. Hugs, mom. Yeah, it's it's uh, 57 degrees or was. It's probably 55 by now. It's it's going down quickly, but it's comfortable. The sun comes down here. In the in the big bend of Florida, really. Hey, from India, now in Dubai. Is your mom back from Dubai? Yes, she is. She had a great time. She loved the, the Dubai. Hey, Robert, we live in Michigan in the UP. We love a pelly camp. Yeah, we with some pasties and uh, it's all good. I really like the UP. I, I, I wish I had more time when I was there. Uh, but... Uh, but we'll be back. We'll be back probably this, this year. This year is in the plans, actually. A love from the Netherlands from Robert and Janine. The Netherlands, all the way from the Netherlands, which uh, another country that um, that I enjoy a, a lot. I mean, I, I was there for like two days in Amsterdam, but it's a fun town. And besides being a fun town, you know, it's, you know the, his, we went to the... To the um, the guy who cut his, uh, his ear, Van Gogh, the Van Gogh Museum, and uh, and all in all, you know, we, we, do, we did a canal cruise, and of course, there's more to to the Netherlands than just Amsterdam. So next time I want to, you know, see the, the you know, the, they have that, that the town with the windmills, and I, and I would like, love to see a place in the Netherlands where they explain to you how the, those dikes work and the locks, you know, to 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 keep the 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 ocean. Uh, away because the Netherlands is several feet below sea level. Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. Uh, right now is in the teens, oh. and soon it will be in the single digits with a wind chill of minus uh, of twenty percent. Oh. oh man, stay indoors, stay indoors for Christ's sake. <laughs> stay in Perry, <laughs> or come down to Perry, yeah, for real. Uh, Carl, I don't think you want to go back up no, there, I'm, man. I'm gonna stay here for a while. <laughs> Jason Parrish, thank you for that super chat. Are you going to build a house on your new property or stay in Miami? I'm going to stay in Miami for a while. Not forever, for a, for a while. Uh, but we're thinking of right back there, this area right here. 
right, you know, just to cover the, the other neighbor, uh, put a tiny house there of some kind, uh, or a single wide, something, you know, tiny houses are, are, are really cool these days, so we may, or maybe even a container home, I don't know, uh, container homes, the prices have gone, you know, crazy because of the price of, of containers, but, um, but at some point, you know, something semi, yeah, something permanent to have at least like a laundry facility, some storage, maybe a, a, a spare bedroom, uh, you know. Hey, this traveler is here. Hello, Robert. Happy Friday. We really enjoy your channel. Thank you. What is your favorite beach in Southern California? That will have to be a per, no. What's the one that has the, the RV Park? Uh, no. <clears throat> Rincon Parkway. Not because of the beach. It's because you can camp there for like 30 bucks a night, Moondock. But you can camp right there. No, there there's many be beautiful beaches. I'm not an expert in California, but uh, as far as urban beaches, I really liked, uh, is it Laguna Beach? I thought that town had some character. I, I really liked it. <clears throat> we should get to Tampa Thursday evening up uh, from uh, Barb. And Jim from Ohio. Hard to find a good press Cuban sandwich outside of Miami. Oh, you can you can get them in Tampa. You can get them in Key West. And actually, the Tampa RV show they have a pretty decent one. They have a, one of those. You know, it's 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 overpriced. You know, kiosk. But it's uh... Anthony Jordan. Another super chat. He says he meant minus twenty degrees. So oh, wind chill. 20. Wind chill minus ne negative twenty. I like it in Paris. Yeah. I think the coldest I've ever felt was probably in the teens. I've never, I, I cannot imagine how it feels to be negative 20. Uh, so, um, and that was in Oklahoma City, actually, when I froze my, when I, that, that one time at the, uh, that band camp, <laughs> that one time where I froze my, my sewer hose. <laughs> uh, luckily, it was just gray water. And when it came out, it came like, you know, like the ice cubes when they come out of the refrigerator because it wasn't just the bottom, you know, and it's round like that. So it came out like the ice cubes when they come out of the refrigerator. I didn't put them on my scotch. Don't worry. Um, Leo. <clears throat> oh, man. Of all the things I've lost besides my mind, it is my eyesight. I miss the most. Tin Can Travelers, happy Friday, Robert. Happy Friday to you. San Clemente, never never been to San Clemente, so I don't know. Uh, vagando everywhere. Uh, it's nice. Leo Carrillo is nice, but camping is a no-go account of the flood. San Elijo is, or Elijo, I don't know, California, sometimes they pronounce it the Spanish way or sometimes they, they pronounce it the, the English way. So San Elijo or Elijo is a great beach campground in Southern California. I got to get down there. And uh, and what I'm thinking, you know, after the Lewis and Clark trip, just do the the the, the, the whole Pacific Coast Highway coming south, and uh, maybe not the whole. Let me rephrase that. I may not make it to San Diego, but do part of the Pacific Coast Highway. The traveling man, thank you for that super chat. Greetings from St. Albans, Queens. Um, hey, Robert, say hi to my wife, Valerie, please. Thank you. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Cheers. I need to put some WD-40 on this thing. Uh, how do I get a sticker from you for, for our new camper? That's uh, travelingrobert.com, and you click on that merchandise link, and uh, there should be a link there. There are five bucks. And uh, by the way, in PayPal just changed the whole their whole shipping uh, website, and now it's kind of a pain, but uh, we'll figure it out. I, I, I was doing. I shipped some CDs today, and it's. Uh, convoluted to say the least until we get used to it dg what place do you recommend to store rv in the fort lauderdale hollywood area thanks dg i don't know i don't know i i, I had a place by the miami river that's where i stored mini teeny one back there for about two months and then our friends here uh, uh, uh rob and trish the average campers uh, on youtube they they offered to store it until i finished Pelly camp and so I don't know any, anywhere in the Fort Lauderdale area. Um, we, we're going to have to do a search for that. If somebody knows, just uh, please chip in right on the chat. Uh, 
I just finished watching your summer videos. They were great. Thank you lots. You're welcome. And uh, the fall is gonna the fall is gonna start slowly, but uh, the fall videos are gonna be great. Uh, I'm editing Vermont right now. I'm a little ahead, but as as you start doing other things, you start falling behind on those. So. Um, Happy Friday, William Irisari, Robert and fellow Pelican heads around the world. Hello there, William, whom I've met a couple of times there in the Fort Pierce area. California is always Spanish. Seems like the not the norm in the rest of the states. Yeah, no, that, that, that sometimes you know I, I always and I, I know I'm, I'm going to mispronounce something regardless, but I always when I'm when I encounter a strange name I always Google you know how do you pronounce this like the. Uh, What's that river that goes through Pittsburgh? The Monongahela. Things like that, you know? That <laughs> you're like... <laughs> you did good. I did good. Okay, there you go. And it comes from Carl. So I, I, did, I did decent. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's with Spanish names. I, I mean, the rule of thumb, California, most of them. They pronounce it the Spanish pronunciation. New Mexico, 90% of them are Spanish pronunciation. Then when you get to Texas, everything is anglicized. Everything is like San Jacinto and uh, this and that. So you know, it's uh, it's it's a it's hit or miss uh, with uh, with all these areas of the United States that used to be part of Mexico and before that part of the uh, Spanish Empire. So um, a lot of things like like La Jolla, California. It's it's with the start of the J. You 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 would call it La, La Jolla in, in English, right? That is La Jolla. So. All right, enough linguistics. <laughs> I get carried away. Um, Ay, 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 ay. Are you going to the Winnebago Grand National Rally this year? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. That happens in July. If if does that happen? In, by the way, if you if you go to the rally, they have a huge group of Travados yeah. there at the rally. Um, yeah, they're they're a fun bunch. The Travado owners. Okay. Uh, what drone do you fly? Uh, I fly the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom right now. But going back to the to the Grand National Rally, I haven't planned my whole trip yet, but I think I'm, I might be in California in July or in June. Uh, we'll see. If, 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 if it's feasible to make it there, I'm going to make it because it was a lot of fun. I met a lot of people. And... Uh, and we'll also see if Winnebago insists that they they, pref they they would really like me to go. You know, it all depends, right? Robert, California used to be part of Mexico, yes. Oh, look at that. We got a troll. Somebody take care of the troll. Thank you. Thank you, RVDG. That was quick. <laughs> And Gary Solden, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Oh man, he's back. Now I have to, James Cantanes, who I met at the M21 meetup. I still haven't discounted entirely the possibility of going to, uh, to uh, the M22 meetup, do a repeat. I know a lot of people are going there, but we'll see. We'll see. It, it's 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 too far in the, into the future. Uh, this is the thing. I want to go to the to Balloon Fiesta in New Mexico, and I have I've, I have not. I I don't have a confirmation yet that I'm gonna be able to go to Balloon Fiesta. I have a I have a verbal confirmation. So we'll see. Tammy and Paul G, happy Friday, Robert. My wife, Tammy, and I really enjoy all your videos. Hope we can meet up with you sometime, Paul and Tammy. Thank you so much, and uh, happy Friday. And um, one of these days, you know, I'm going to be roaming around the country. Uh, I'd be out of town for a few months. Uh, Joe Camacho, what's the IPA tonight? Actually, it's not an IPA. It's an APA, believe it or not, American Pale Ale. From uh, here, from um, from Gainesville, is a stump knocker from Swampet Brewing Company, and it's uh, it's delicious.
You saw that, this? Yeah. The troll has been whacked. Yeah. Smoke Oak Barbecue, thank you for that super chat. I'm hanging out with Patricio Lopez. Oh, pa hey, say hello pa to Patricio, to Patrick, to Pat, Patricio. Yeah. Did he go by Patrick for one? I, 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 never mind. I know, I've known Patricio since the, the very early 90s when we used to play together at Orquesta La Llave. Good times. Great musician. He sends his blessing and hello. I'm making a paletica in the smoker right now. Happy Friday. Rah, rah, save me some. Rally is July 17th through the 21st. We're going to try and make it in the 19th and 20th. Uh, it's very likely that by July 17th, I'll be driving driving to the east, going home. So maybe, maybe it's a good chance I'll... Um, Tab Channel, what's your next trip? I don't know yet. We're going to be hanging out here in Florida. We're going down to the Tampa show. We're going coming back here. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. We may do some maintenance on Minitini uh, two, 3 here. I mean, Minitini 1 back there. I'm totally discombobulated today. Um, but uh, Don the... Oh, man. De la house -y. De la house -y? Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Joe Camacho, cheers. Cheers to you. And Richard Sosa, a, a, a super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, hey, Robert, saludos from the Sosa family. Uh, are you going to the Tampa RV show? I heard Winnebago is re revealing a complete off-grid RV this year. Well, the complete, well, the off-grid the off RV. This is what you're looking at. This is a prototype of the Winnebago Flex that they're going to reveal at, at the Tampa show. And they're going to start shipping those uh, at the, sometime at the end of first quarter, uh, 2022. Um, but they're also going to reveal, and this is kind of vaporware, but it, there, it's, a, it's a concept. It's not a vaporware. It's a concept for an, a totally electric, uh, <coughs> I believe it is a Class A motorhome. I don't know exactly how, what, what the details are, but that's what they, they, what they're revealing. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, and uh, actually, Adam from uh, what was the Beyond the Wheel podcast uh, interviewed Adam from Winnebago, and he actually mentioned me and how we, uh, you know, they, they kind of followed, you know, not followed, but. Uh, uh, you know the modifications that I requested are in part what made this this uh, the Winnebago Flex uh, what it is. You know I wanted so many amp hours of lithium power. I wanted solar. I wanted the Truma systems. And your audience is leaving. <laughs> my live audience is leaving. Okay, Carl is leaving. Everybody, everybody, say goodbye to Carl. Carl on the Winnebago Travato G. Yeah, brand new. Brand new. Don't tell Winnebago, but I want a GL. Yeah, he, he loves it, and I, I think if I ever get a Travato, I'm going to love it too. So, Anthony Bridges, thank you for that super chat for the IPA fine. Thumbs up. Cheers. Thank you. You should come to Lavalette, New Jersey, on the Jersey Shore. Did I went there? Did I go there? Uh, Henry Kosofsky. It is they're great. I, I, I went down to uh, to Cape May and what's the name of the town just north of Cape May that has the big uh, beach ball? Bye, Carl. I forget. Wildwoods. Hey, Robert, what day are you going to be at the Tampa show? I want to meet you there. I want to be there pretty much every morning, uh, except for Sunday. That's that's usually my, my MO at the Tampa show. I don't uh, I don't stay there a long time uh, during the day. You know, I get there in the morning because after, after like 11 a.m., it's kind of hard to, uh, to, 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 especially to film. You know, you can go inside the RV and bump into people and all that. But if you have a camera, you know, you don't want to stick that camera in front of people. It's it's Sometimes it's kind of rude. So um, so what I do, I go there early, early in the morning. 
and stay there until uh, uh, 10 or less. And then I have some meetings in the afternoon and, and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to be there pretty much every day. So... Thank you for featuring my grace on the M21 video. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Mohammed Iram from India. Okay, I guess Mohammed Iram. Uh, you'll invite me as a chief guest. Well, if you had written it only once, you wouldn't have gotten, you know, deleted. Um, Nania Letts, my husband and I are only two-year RVR, RVers. And uh, we bought a class A, is a, say, a holiday rambler. Those are nice for 120k just to see if we would like it. And we got the gas one saved. Uh, um, oh man, is it love it? But but we live in. Holiday, yeah. Yeah, you save a lot of money on the on the on the gas ones, but uh, I guess in the end you 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 save a little more if if I mean it did, it depends. Um, Robert, you never complain about the raising gas gas prices. Well, you haven't seen my videos from the fall yet, but I don't complain. I just I just state the facts as as they are, you know, and uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I know this traveler. Colin McSherrill. McSherry, hey, Robert, do you ever use public transportation when visiting big cities? I have. I have done it before in the past, and I'm sure I'll do it again at some point. Like, if I go to New York, I, I'll take the subway. I, I've taken it before, and uh, and in some big cities I have, like San Francisco. Um, it, it really uh, depends, you know. Actually, since since we've been RVers and we've been able to drive into the into the city, we haven't taken as much uh, public transit as, as as we used to. But uh, yeah, I, I take it. Olaf J, good night from Germany. Good night, Olaf. Uh, you're welcome to point the cameras at me anytime. However, it may crack the lens. Smile. Okay. <laughs> if it hasn't cracked with me, don't worry. It won't. It won't. You you got nothing on me. What are your thoughts about van camping? I love van camping. I love those class Bs like the one Carl had that he just left. I um, I like it, you know. But it has to be not so much a van uh, as a as a, a proper uh, class B, you know. Um, I don't want to for to, to for lack of better word. I don't want to poop in the bucket. Uh, let's put it that way. But other than that, I, I like, I like. Would Winnebago sponsor a complete refurb of Minitini 1? Then they could showcase an uh, upgrade they've made in the last years. You could take it on outside of trips, even Alaska. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I don't want to do like a huge upgrade uh, to Minitini 1. I, I, I would upgrade... Uh, fix the axles. That's the main thing. Fix the axles. Do a brake job. Get the, get that. Not it's not the powertrain, but what would you call that? Call that the you know the the the. the it's not a powertrain because it's not a car. It doesn't have power. Would you call that like the the rolling train? And I, I, I for lack of better word, and I would upgrade maybe the battery. And if I upgrade the battery to a lithium, of course, I would have to probably upgrade the inverter. The and uh, you know maybe get one of those Santrix, uh, like the one I have in Mini Tini Three, and uh, that's about it. Hey Robert, just come visiting Zion National Park and use your Zion videos reference. Angels Landing plus ice made for an interesting experience, isn't it? Yeah, it it, it is certainly different when you when you are in the ice, but you just gotta go prepared. Good gloves, good spikes on your shoes, you know. And I, I was sweating actually at some point. I had to start shedding layers. Because it is a very strenuous hike. Game Runner, thank you for that super sticker. It's a thumbs up. All right. And uh, Driving to the West. Yeah, I know that song. And there's a new version. That I have to, maybe this weekend I won't have time, but I have to finally publish the, the final version. Yeah, drivetrain. But, yeah, I guess it will be the drivetrain, Christopher. Thank you so much. Um... 
Hey, Robert, I heard on a recent Reliving the RV Dream podcast that you are headed to Louisiana. Are you going to hit the Bayou region like uh, Houma, Thibodeau, Morgan City? Um, I'm, I'm going to take, yeah, I do want to visit that of the Beaten Path area. I, I heard some of, some of that was uh, really damaged by the recent hurricane. So I don't know. Uh, I haven't planned that far ahead. I don't even, you know, that that Louisiana trip is kind of changing by the day. So uh, I'm not going to say for sure that we're doing it. I want to do it, but uh, but we'll see. There, there, I have so, so many things to do here at the property in Florida that I don't know if, we, if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, uh, Darling Barcelona, thank you for the super chat. Good evening, Robert and Illy. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Just wanted to say hello. Well, hello, darling. Hakim, hola, Juwon. Good afternoon, traveling Robert. Robert, how is Sway with the Husky Hitch on Minitini 3 versus the Pro Pride in Minitini 2? Actually, the Pro Pride was in Minitini 1. Uh, Minitini 2 also had a Husky. And um, yeah, Pro Pride is obviously better in that in preventing uh, sway because it it actually shifts the pivot point to uh, uh, you know like probably near where the axle of the truck is, and and that's exactly how a fifth wheel would behave. But um, but the Husky does an admirable job for the simplicity of its design. I haven't had a problem. I mean, I, I haven't had like super heavy winds. I've had some medium winds and it's been fine. It's been fine. So, uh, Larry Bridgewater Jr. Hi, Robert. Who do you follow on YouTube? Who inspired your RV life? Love to watch your videos. Enjoy the cooler weather. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm enjoying the cooler weather. Actually, I, I'm very happy it's not uh, 90 degrees with 100% humidity. That, that much is certain. Um, actually, I, I didn't know anything about RVing until my brother-in-law rented an RV uh, sometime back in, 20, I want to call, call it 20, 2007, 8, 9, probably 2007, around that area. And then we started doing research and we found uh, some people online, that you know, some podcasts like Living the RV Dream podcast, the, the RV Navigator, uh, Lolojo, Long, Long Honeymoon, they had written a book. I, I found their book before I found the YouTube channel. And then we started watching people like, you know, back in the day, like, Early nomadic fanatic, um, all kinds of nomads, you know. Um, uh, Mike, you know, uh, living free Mike uh, was one of the original ones, and Chris Travels, which then became Chris and G, and now is the, the off grid schoolie. Those were like the f early, early on, and Lolojo, of course. But early, early on, uh, YouTube channels about RVing, and uh, I already had my YouTube channel by, by then, of course. Uh, but not about our being. And eventually, you know, I, I was like, mm, you know, let, let's let's get into the the most inexpensive RV that we can tow with my, our current vehicle that we can park in our driveway. That it's from a reputable company like Winnebago. And it was narrow. Most RVs are eight feet wide. This is seven feet wide, so it would fit. It, if I really needed to put it into that narrow hallway that I have in my house in Miami, I could. So, uh, best spot to stargaze, in your opinion? I would go with Valley of the Gods, Utah. Uh, out of the out there in the middle of nowhere, BLM land with all those beautiful rock formations. You'll see the Milky Way, everything. Actually, this is not bad. We 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 get to see pretty good stars out here too. So yeah. have a lot of trolls tonight. There's a glitch in the Matrix for sure, yeah. It's getting chilly here. Let me, let me put my hands in the fire here. Hmm. Angela Healy, hello from the other half of Casita RV Live. Hello, Angela. We were, we were hoping to meet you, uh, um, but we will eventually. <laughs> The uh, spell check was supposed to be troll control patrol. Um, when was the last time you drove through New York City? Was uh, last uh, October? You haven't seen that video yet. We we drove through Brooklyn. 
uh, or on the way to on our way to the Verrazano Bridge, and I wasn't sure if I could go on the Parkway because the New York Parkway they say, say they say passenger vehicles only. Maybe you can sneak in a camper van, but not not a no nothing towing. So I had to go through like uh, the middle of the street in in Brooklyn. It was uh, it was wild. <laughs> it was pretty wild. You know, you have made it on YouTube when you get these trolls on the channel. And you know, we haven't had trolls in a while, like not bad ones. But uh, lately, so once in a while, they sneak in. What can you do? It's, uh, it's the way it is. Rod Wilcox, uh, thank you for that super sticker. And it's, uh, it's a fine character, laughing out loud with tears in their eyes. Is that what it is? I don't know. It looks prettier without the description. Uh, it's mail machine. It's Marae machine. A machine. Um, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Oh, and Mr. CLT is in the house. Hey, CLT. Let me let me look at the chat here. Looking up, looking down. Uh, hi, Robert and Lily. Have a great weekend. Thank you, G Photo Girl. And. Um, Michelle, the stream started early today. Yeah, I started a little early because it gets dark so early, and I wanted to show you the the the, the great outdoors here. In fact, you know, it's gonna be probably at like an hour early uh, today. I've got a nice campfire here next to me. Look at that. That means it's, I, it doesn't look like that much, but it feels great. Thank you, Monty Reed, for that super chat. Thank you. I'm sure there's the same guy from three different accounts who would troll Robert. Right? Yeah, right? Uh, well, maybe it is. Um, hey, Robert, really enjoy your hikes that you go on. Yeah, and I have, I have planned some so many good hikes uh, for, for this uh, spring-summer trip. Hope, hope I can get to see, uh, to, I mean, do all of them. Uh, hey. Oh, man. One of those. Ted Forth, hope to see you at the Tampa RV show. Hope to see you, too. Look me up. I'm going to be there every day until 10 a.m. And, and by the way, on Friday at 10 a.m., there's going to be a Winnebago Toebles meetup. It's going to be me and two other uh, brand ambassadors for Winnebago Toebles. And so, you know, show up. And, yeah. Rubber needs a tissue. I do. Do I have a... I'm good. Uh, UK Pelican headed the house. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Lee. Uh, Robert, how's your mom? She's probably back home holding down the fort. Yeah, she's home. My mom is home. She's actually here. She was actually watching the, the live stream earlier. She she came and said hello. Hello, Robert. Glad you enjoyed camp. Hello, look, dog. Mud's in the chat. Happy Friday. East Coast GS. Thank you. And uh, greetings from Greece. I want to go to Greece at some point. It's one of those countries, right? It looks like a great campsite. What's for dinner? I have no idea yet. I have no idea yet. Uh, uh, we'll 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 see when we finish here. The looks like fireworks. Or maybe someone's shooting an AR. I don't know. Uh, Oliver DeVries, uh, Oliver, how about starting the Pelicamp Brewery there at Perry, Florida? We can help with the quality control. <laughs> ah, I don't know. We may maybe maybe. Pelican Brewery in Perry, Florida. Hello, Robert. This is John Chucker from Waterbury, Connecticut. Nice to see you this beautiful day. Anybody wants to throw you, give me a range and I'll throw them a quick CC. Cease and desist. No, that's that will be CD. Never mind. Hi, Robert. Have you ever... Uh, oops. Have you ever went to Jolly Roger RV Resort in Marathon? Not yet. Uh, actually, no, 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 we haven't. We haven't gone there yet. Hello, Germany, Marisa Hensnich. You are sniffling. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, it's probably this fire right next to me. Sometimes the smoke makes me makes me sniffle. But you know, it's uh, it's unconscious. I do it unconsciously. Uh, how's the new truck shopping going from boot up with Bay Sharp? Uh, think the Colorado will make it the trip this year? Still there. Um, it's not a good time to buy a truck right now. I may I may be able to work out a deal. I would love to get my hands on the new Colorado. 
on the new Silverado that is coming out soon here. So we'll see. That's a nice grill. Thank you. Yeah, I like the. That's a. It's not a product placement. I should. If, if anybody knows anybody at Weber, yeah. Uh, there you go. There's my mom. She's watching. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her as soon as we finish the live stream. Uh, what's the plan for this weekend, Robert? We're gonna stay here at Pelly Camp probably for the most part. Maybe we will. You know, we have a nice watering hole here, uh, close by, and. Uh, but, uh, we're, you know, it's uh, uh, until Sunday. Sunday, I think we're going down to Tampa. But, yeah. Robert, can you sing happy birthday to my daughter, Ramira? Uh, now she's sick, getting better. Happy birthday, Ramira. Happy birthday to you. Travels with Ozzy and Becky. Hey, Robert, how in the world do you connect to the net in the woods. My in-laws live just outside of town, not far from you, and they can get, they can get, yeah, it's, it's really bad. And uh, I tried with, uh, with the AT&T earlier because Ili was working, but uh, now it seems to be holding up. I, 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 what, by today's standards would be very overpriced internet. I'm getting like one and a half up, maybe a couple down, and you know, megabits. It's, uh, but that's the only thing we have out here. We are in. We are really, really remote. This is the middle of nowhere. Uh, literally, I mean, um, we're, we're a mile and a half away from the from the Gulf of Mexico. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty remote. The, the internet doesn't seem to be a priority around here. Uh, Robert, we got lost in New York City with our travel trailer this summer too. It was crazy because we couldn't get on the Parkway. We stayed at the Liberty Mariner. Uh, per your uh, recommendation. Yeah, that Liberty Harbor Army Park is really nice. Um, this time we stayed at a at a Harvest Host just outside Brooklyn on, on Long Island there. Uh, but you won't see that video for another, at least a month. You know, it's I'm, I'm working. Uh, I haven't traveled much because I want to catch up a little on the videos. So that's that's what we're doing. Robert, do you hear Winnebago is making an electric RV? That's what I heard. It's, I mean, it's a concept that they're going to uh, unveil at the Tampa RV show. Nobody really knows uh, exactly what it's going to be. Uh, I don't think they have a physical RV yet. It's just going to be a concept. But uh, that's exciting, yeah. What's your best RV state park in Florida like to go uh, to? Oh, if you can get one of the four uh, 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 state parks in the Florida Keys, that would be uh, really good. I've stayed at Suwannee River. It's very nice. Um, oh, there are several. There's actually a county park in St. Petersburg Beach, which is Fort DeSoto. That's really, really good, too. Um, Hello to Eliana, Mama Morales, Robert, when will you get close to the Virginias or the Carolinas? Um, it may happen, it may happen later this winter, uh, for sure, uh, early, uh, early fall, no, early spring, early spring. My husband has been looking at that barbecue you have. How do you like it? We like it. We like it. I mean, it's a little bit of a pain sometimes to clean, but it's the right size, especially for RVing. And, uh, and yeah, it works. It works out for us great. Omar Garsh. Hey, Robert, just watched your Pelicamp development vids. Uh, they were great. You indicated you would retire. Minitini went to Pelicamp. Why is that? Well, it's here. I'm not, it's not retired. I, I'm, I intend to to eventually uh, refurbish it a little bit and maybe take it on shorter trips. Make it, maybe take it on longer trips too. So um, we'll see. But for now it's here, it's permanently, since I have another RV that I can take uh, on the road. So yeah. I do like it, I'm gonna maintain it. I mean, if I were to sell it, I wouldn't get uh, all that much for it so yeah i would think chevy and the other truck manufacturers would be lining up to sponsor an internationally known social influencer like you come on jay give it him <clears throat> chevy give it truck for free <clears throat> 
We'll see if that happens. You know, it's 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 not a good time to to for the art for the truck manufacturing. You know, they are there. There's uh, they, they they can't make enough of them. David Collar, super chat. Thank you for a super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Holiday Park is good in Miami. I'm not I'm not familiar with Holiday Park. Robert Morales, happy anniversary today on YouTube. Yes, we actually, it was uh, two days uh, or yesterday. It depends who, who you ask. Uh, 11 years since this channel has been uh, activated, the Traveling Robert channel. Hey, Natalie Driscoll from Down Under. Sorry I'm late. Well, it's actually early where you are, so. <laughs> um, My friend just bought a salvage RV. You can get good deals on salvage. Uh, hmm. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know how to fix these things up. You know, I, I would. It, it would probably end up costing more. I don't know. We are thinking of going to New Orleans. Have you been? What's a good campground? Well, there, I haven't. I haven't been to that particular campground. There's one right there on French Quarter, which is expensive, but it's right there on the French Quarter behind the cemetery. But then there's Fountain Blue uh, State Park across the Lake Poncho Train. It's less than an hour drive, and it's a beautiful campground. Uh, yeah. What are Pelican Parades? No, it's uh, this is not an, an RV uh, park. This is just uh, for us and, and some guests from time to time. But uh, that's it. It's uh, it's our, our North Florida retreat. Uh, Theologica. Hi, Robert. How about getting a Ford F-150 power boost uh, with the 7.2 generator? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get the Colorado still holding up. But um, uh, we'll see. We'll see uh, how that goes. Um, I'm still looking for property in Taylor County. Hard to find good piece of property. Yeah, that, but most, most of the properties here are gone. I think it was a very good timing for, for us to do it when we did it. But, uh, yeah. All right, everybody, I'm going to start wrapping it up because, uh, as I, you know, I started a little bit before uh, 5 p.m. And it's getting dark. It's getting chilly. And, uh, and the fire is dying down. So um, I actually did bring a guitar this time around. And I don't know if it is uh, tuned because uh, I haven't used it. I, I, I brought the... Uh, the small guitar that Tom General, the gentleman in California, gave gave to me, I, I would say two years ago, and uh, and I think Ely is getting it for me. But uh, yeah, we could do the "Riding in My RV" song here as we uh, start wrapping it up. It's getting, it's getting really chilly. I mean, for Florida, you know. If you are up in upstate New York, this will be a balmy a fall weather for you. But uh, for us, yeah. Any plans after the Tampa show? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, I don't have any set plans. We're coming back here most likely. But we want to explore a little bit of northern Florida. We want to maybe go up to Alabama. There's a very likely plan to, to, to go up to Alabama, the, the Alabama, the coastal Alabama. Not bad. Close enough. I'm riding, whoa, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Oh, I'm not used to the still strings. <laughs> Hold on, I have to. You know, I usually, I usually do nylon strings. Riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Happy Friday. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for coming. And I'll see you next Friday from the Tampa RV Show. <laughs> Have a great weekend and see you soon.